At the last end of session, the we faced death, destruction. The very God came forth before us, breathed terrible might down. But we struck back. We did not yield. Sorry. <laughs> that, uh, that was actually really, really good. Um, the the uh, corpse of the creature disappears as as the clouds open up and reveal a light on this um, frozen waste that has become this uh, peak of the top of the uh, mountainside. And you see that, like, the light starts, like, illuminating the trees, and they, they kind of, like, start growing green again. Uh, they were kind of, like, pale autumn colours, or, f or essentially just, like, blackened trees. Um, the water starts, like, clearing, and you see, like, these, uh... Like, gunk items kind of just, like, float into the air and just start dissipating. Um, and as that's happening, where the shrine used to be opens a doorway. And without, like, any kind of warning, you're pulled in to this, like, realm that changes the entire landscape around you. And so you drop your tokens over here near the doorway that I drew. Here or in near Veronica? The near Veronica. That's where Veronica. her name is. Yeah, yeah she's got so many names. This, yeah, this, this person that's had many names. That was Vanessa. Vanessa Veronica. Vanessa Veronica. Um, what a beautiful name. Diva's here? Diva was in yeah, this we... realm before. Um, and Diva was speaking with this god. Um, kind of asking for a... Um, is he just making a butt? Or is it going to be coming in the mother? <laughs> like, it's coming a butt. It's becoming a butt. It's a butt door. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I can't unsee the butt door now. Um, <laughs> and uh, Diva was asking for like a way to defeat this uh, demonic insurgents that was summoned by the uh, by the men and women covered in this like frost uh, with burnt limbs uh, you've had a little bit of time to look at some of their bodies but the um, like when you, when you look at them their frozen like arms and legs just start shattering a bit like it's like they're um, limbs are falling off and just kind of like deteriorating. Mm. Uh, at the end of the, um, at the end of these, like, uh, you're on like a, a high up kind of like elevation and it goes down slightly. And then down slightly again to like the final elevation where there's a bridge and there's a green valley in this like demi plane. And you can see a large corpse, the creature that you killed, but it's covered in like top. Um. The two pixies and code 
a diva kind of um kind of uh just kind of like say like let, let's move up and uh the speak with the goddess Laru and they they fly up you recognize that the the one pixie was actually dead and you see that the pixie that is flying there is like like a reborn so they have like clear eyes paler like a lot paler skin to what you saw I thought I was resurrecting them last time. Yes. Um, during, okay, let's say during that, they came back to life before you could... Oh. Before you could uh, try, or try to, like, save it, it died and came back to life mid-surgery while you were, like, incisioning it. And, like, you notice that, like, there's, there wasn't any blood coming out like you normally would expect. Do I still have to spend all my kits for no, it, that? No. It's all good. Okay. We'll redact that, too. Let's redact a bunch of things today. <laughs> so, as we pass through the gates of absolute territory, um, have you guys seen that anime about the sports where you have to smack each other with butts and i've i've seen no snippets of no butt fighting anime yes there's like a but i've actually there's like gates that they can summon like Wait, type what? moon and it's got... oh, oh i think i know the one you found no it's not important someone put pants on the butt and fishnets and Diva, so I, um, Diva starts I did the fishnets Diva starts flying ahead Next. with the two pixies and calls for you all to come along. Of course, they would fly. <laughs> yeah, they are flying above everybody. Um, there is a, like, unnatural sensor on the creature that's in here. It's like, it's not meant for this realm, and it's, like, hard to view. Right. Does the bridge hold my way? Yes. It is Action. magical. It's a good so, a disembodied voice appears, and you've you kind of heard it when it thanked you. Um, but the voice um, slowly kind of, like, starts becoming from a direction. And you see this, like, black altar over on the right of you, our left, um, kind of come out um like for real um it kind of uh apparates into a person from that direction where you can hear it um and you notice straight away that it looks like the lady that you saved Idril, um, was almost drowned with this lady, and Kragger brought her back to life. Um, it's a different voice. It sounds like the goddess, and it says, um, I've witnessed your acts of kindness and your acts of strength, and I am bringing you here into my demiplane to reward you for all you've done. I believe this form, and she she does change her form as she speaks, between um, between a form of the one that you saved and a form of the other sister that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I believe this form is the, uh, oh, I'll put that on that way. Um, I believe this is the only form that would be able to be understood by your senses. Uh, 
and she she mentions to like step forward one at a time to receive a blessing. Kraga walks forward slowly, almost using his pole arm like a crutch. Do they want me to stand before the altar, or...? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go, she, she, um, go before the altar. She reaches out to you and says your name, because she's spoken it before. Uh, Kraga, the newest of this party's adventurers. Who's the, who's the newest newest? <laughs> Who's the newest? Teddy. 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 Uh, he's not in the party just yet. You guys just... No. Um, at the same time, he's not even here, I guess. So, we'll, we'll catch him up in a bit. Let's yeah. guess play. Um, Krager, you will be... Um, Uh, I've looked into your soul and I understand one of your greatest wishes is to change something fundamental about yourself. Fate has not been kind to me. You, s you speak of fate. Uh, that is not in my domain, but... You are given a choice here. Everyone will be given a choice to decide whether you will take fate as a power or my blessing as a power. And she explains to Kraga that you, you have two options. Um, and you see that it's like the one of the options during the explanation you see her like shroud with darkness and she says that like you could be rewarded for the hunt and it will uh, you could be rewarded for the hunt and it will I will take any path that would break me from this curse it will grant you freedom from this curse, but you must prove yourself worthy. And you must gain the trust of the demon that you have slain, Malar. Like night and day, we are both from the same coin. The hunter is hunted. What must I do? She points over at the um, corpse. If you wish to gain his power, you must uh, take a take one of the two options. Uh, take this vial, and she hands out a vial with um, with blood. And the vials, like one of those uh, normal kind of beakers with a cork on the top, filled with blood. Mm -hmm. As she wishes it around, like the blood kind of like oil sticks to the sides, and you can tell the viscosity is essentially blood. Um, mm -hmm. Drink from this, and you will have taken the reward from. God Mala. Otherwise, if you wish, I will give you a blessing. And it will be this. And she kind of gives this like seed pot in her hand floating above her. And it kind of like shows like this 
kind of like flower sprouting from it. Um, and these will affect those that you command and bring to life. Would this, would your blessing free me from the curse? No, that's not something that I can do. Because it is unnatural. Only those who are also unnatural can uh, defeat the curse. So she has, she has the vial in one hand and the floating sea pod in the other and you have to choose. It seems there is no choice to be made here. Krakow reaches for the vial. Kneels. Please grant me the freedom I seek. You hear like a disembodied laughter of a, like a demon, similar to the one that you heard before. It's very like hyena-like, but it's got like a background sound of like goats and stuff like that. Right. Um, so as you kind of uncork it, you can just smell the blood. And it's just like very potent compared to the normal kind of like smell of blood. Tries not to smell it too much and just downs it in, the, in one shot. You feel, um, you feel you're undergoing like a change. Uh, your like body starts kind of like skin starts to shift slightly and it's like your veins are like almost bursting. It feels very painful for a second. But then it just stops, undoes itself, and goes back to normal. Uh, she says, now that you have the blood of the beast in you, uh, if he finds you worthy, he will uh, overpower the curse that you have been burdened with. Thank you. Next up, uh, she points over at Nilax. Yes. Nilax, your face is unmatched and you are helpful to no end you will be given the choice between Malar's hunting prowess or my uh, my blessing that will, will affect that which you want your desires she looks like she feels, she looks into your soul and she understands what you want. Um, you see that the first one is like, it's a kind of like a, an illusion of you and it like changes forms, like you can alter your appearance. Um, and the other one is a, like a, an image of you, but it's like smiting, um, what looks like a avatar of Mala and it's smiting it and you just see lightning bolts coming out of the sky as you're doing so onto the creature Nilex looks back and forth between them and he almost like reaches out to touch them but doesn't you mean these I can choose to be one of these you can choose to take on the form of a hunter or take on the form of your desire. You mean I can look like whatever I want? You can change the way that you are at will. I can be it. 
if that is what you wish. I do. I wish to be seen as normal. Not feared for the body, I mean. And then she kind of outstretches her hand with the image of your, um, your transformation and kind of like whisks it upon you and you feel like a change, like a warmth in your body. change you you struggled to believe with in magic Nilax but if you change the way that you think you can change the way that you look the power to do so will take a lot of willpower, so you can't do it more than once a day. I see. But as you are iron-willed, it will make it so that the weapons of man and God have less effect on your body. will manifest. Thank you. And he like bows. Then he steps back. Uh, just real quick, is Code gonna be on tonight? Does anybody know? Code um won't join because he only finishes at eleven PM. <laughs> Yeah, he's working one till eleven every day for the next two weeks. Okay, <laughs> he didn't get back to me on that, but that's all good. Now we know. Um, Diva's character comes up, um, and kind of um, kind of knowing. It's like a telepathic kind of connection between her and this Fae. Um, Sorry, I was drawing that to GM to see if it worked. And you you see that they're like conversing, like they're they're doing arm movements and body language stuff, but it's all telepathic. Um, and you see like again hands out images of things. Um, And sorry, I don't even honestly remember what he picked. <laughs> Give me a sec. Um, you see the uh, like two kind of um two kind of uh like halos. It looks like, it looks like these halos kind of, um, <coughs> that D.Va will have and like, the first halo kind of looks silvery and the other, the second halo is a bit golden. And D.Va reaches out and grabs one of the halos and it kind of like, uh, moves up her arm as electric kind of what light. And Diva's like entire body glows for a second and then goes back to normal. And Diva thanks her out loud and says, um, I'll try to copy his accent. I am very grateful. <laughs> Just fucking racist. Okay, sorry. Um, Diva says that she's very grateful. I don't know if I can do that accent like that well. Um, Idril. Uh, 
Hey yo, hey yo. Uh yes. Am I walking up? It will come come closer. Yeah? There, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh I understand an inventor like yourself having been uh experimenting on a um experimenting on a creature to try and perfect your understanding of forms and human humanoids i i grant you the option between a blessing from me or a blessing from the carcass of the uh the deceased demon avatar here and she kind of like unveils this like giant like twice the size of a human heart kind of like pumping heart with like all these um Fuck, if Diva was here, he'd know what they're called. Like, all the different kind of, like, blood vessels coming out of it. Um, and you see in your arteries. head... Arteries? Yeah, there's arteries. Like, you see in your head, like, kind of, like... Nice. Like that flesh smith kind of, like, mechanical flesh that you could kind of, like, graft onto it. And all the different, like, possibilities that you could do with that body part. Um, she says, I'll offer you to have this as a gift from myself and Mela. Okay. Wait, is this, is this a choice or am I, I'm taking the heart, right? No, I will, I will give you. I will empower it so this demonic heart does not corrupt your ideal of the research that you will be doing. And she clicks her fingers and Idril kind of feels like a genetic change, like you know how if you feel over your left, um, your left breast, you feel a, like, heartbeat? Yeah, center to left breast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, in the middle of your chest, usually between where the lungs are, um, you feel a second heartbeat, and it, like, kind of... It's like inhuman, like it's not a normal thing that anyone's experienced. It's so hard for like me to explain mm -hmm. because it's so like out of the ordinary. But that's yes. what Idril like is like feeling. Um, I was just going to cut myself open, but okay. That will work too. <laughs> if you cut yourself open, you'll see that there's another heart, but. She's doing that right now then. <laughs> what what's your um what's your race is like kind of like I've never really read that kind of uh, Oh my race uh my race kind of is like jelly elf. jelly that wait. Yeah. Elf? No, you're simic hybrid, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm a simic hybrid yeah. that looks like an elf. But so there's yeah. a simic hybrid, you can kind of like Is it like that you can just like suspend your like um your like bleeding or whatever it is and just like open up? Like if you cut yourself open, like what's Oh, uh, yes, I am able to do that. Myth. Yeah, with my flesh myth ability. That's why I'm cutting myself open right now. Because yeah. she's confident that she can heal. Yeah, yeah. You, like, um... You, like, open this pit and you see that there's, like... The heart has attached to, like... Your heart? As, like, a artery connects to this new heart. And there's, like, spare Very arteries that, like, lead out to other, like, sections that are, like... It's like an unnatural, like, it's, the cavity doesn't exist normally, but there is this, like, extra dimensional cavity of heart in your chest. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
if you call upon the hunt, um, the hunter's uh, agility, you will be able to move at such a lightning pace that your enemies wouldn't even be able to see you until you've already um, until you've already met them with your precision cleaver. Ah, uh, interesting. Uh, thank you for that. Um, we'll say that, um, we'll say that Alex's character is here and he's coming through the doors as well. Um, I'm assuming he would have been on by now, so maybe... We could have made enough time. Mm. Um, but it's like a similar thing with um, D.Va where it's kind of like all telepathic because Teddy doesn't communicate well in that like he understands like concepts and stuff. Word. Yeah, like only speaks one word. So um, you see, like, it's just, like, a, it's very, like, an action oriented like, conversation that they're having, telepathically, and they're just, like, talking about something, you're not quite sure, it's telepathic. And, um, it finishes off with him being gifted a map that she summons, and this map kind of has, like, these locations. Um, you can see that she points them out, and one of them is in Icewind Dale, and the other one's, like, in the Sword Coast. Another one's in um, the south of the um, of Faerun, and there's about four in total. I oh, know just typing. Is it here? It's not here. Ruh -ruh. I think he's about to say he's like five minutes away. But yeah, um, Alex is given this like map, and he understands. <laughs> Fuck! He's like, ah, oh, I just realized game's on. Pepe go. Oh right, not cool. Yeah. What is that? Okay, um, as you're all given these kinds of, like, blessings, you kind of get this, like, white light engulf your entire body, and mm -hmm. your memory of, like, going into that realm kind of, like, it's there, but it's so faint. It's so hard to recall the, like, details of anything that happened. But the explanations of the things that you were granted, only the thing that you were granted, the other part kind of, like, I can't quite remember what happened. Um, it's just, like, it's so prevalent, that thing that you were chosen in your memory, that it is now just, like, part of your body. And, like, it drills kind of, like, still has the knowledge that, like, you cut yourself open during this and had a look at it. So you don't have to do it again. Um, <laughs> and then, like, for some reason, you just, you're just, like, not at the, like, campsite that you were last time, like, near that, um, near that lake. You're already, um, back on the walk back and it's half, you're halfway to town. Um, you just remember, like, getting some sort of, like, reward and then walking back, but you just, you're just here. You're just walking back now. Hey, Soda, I sent you a new token for trans, like, to have a transforming token. That's, that's Humi Nilex. Humi Lex. Damn. He is. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Um, 
You mean I like? Is this the tavern? I'm not sure. Is this the tavern? This, this the is house? where we met Zeradius. Is this the house? Is this the right place? Yeah, um, this is where you, we this met. This is not where we met Zeradius. Might be. Nope. Where you can meet him again. No, wasn't this the tavern that we ambushed? Mm. Like we raided? Mm. With the door guard? Yeah, this, this is the one. one. No. Oh, this is the tavern where we kick, we kick the sorcerer's asses. This is where old man used to live. And died. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh shit, I fucking didn't. It's the bit where they hit behind the horse's head. Yeah, this is where you ditched. This is where I pissed off. Yeah, because I This is where I went like... I hit a button that said set up yeah, my Roll20 some... subscription, like I'm gonna pay Roll20. I don't even remember hitting any buttons, but I guess I'm paying Roll20 for something now. Um, yeah, like... That's how they get you. Through the, uh, through the forest, um, enchanted forest, you, you feel yourself kind of like awaken and you start traveling back. It's like your, your goal was to travel back because that's something that you... Um, you expected to do anyway, and then for some reason you're just here. Uh, after a, about 30 more minutes, you finish your two hour hike back, and you're back in town, back in the manor. What do you want to do? Now that we're back in your town. Oh. Uh, yes. I feel uh, strange. I look at you. I think... I think I'll be just fine. Your voice changed. It's... Your voice... Your voice sounds like you're inside a helmet. Yeah. I'm going to like do a little quick echoey. little pause. We're gonna have a break here. Um, okay. Kind of we'll do a little bit of wait for Alex, but as well my dinner just around. So I'm gonna quickly have a five ten minute, um, and I'll pause the recording. All right. Someone... Don't watch the radius's voice. One. Yeah, it was just your voice. I think it might have been yeah. Vanessa. Um. Vanessa, thanks you, you all. Th thank you, everyone. Um, I, I will await here if you wish to help me still find my sister. Um, in that keep. But we need to find out where this keep is. Where they're holding my sister. Wait, wait, isn't that why we're going to the spine of the world? Because it said that that's where it was. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. We only know that it's in that direction. We don't yeah, have a... Region, not we don't have, like, a direction. Yeah, we don't have an actual, like, spot. And so that's where your, like, locate object will be coming in handy, if you wish. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, we were kind of planning on taking a mission up in that direction anyway. So that we could, uh... Continue there. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, I feel like bringing this song as well, Drew. My. Uh, Rock you, body. Feel different. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. No, do you have to sing Backstreet Back. Backstreet Back. Oh, fuck. Backstreet Back. All right. Uh, if you wish to go and restock in the city, um, 
collect yourselves for a bit. I will be, um, I will be exploring a bit more of this um, underground, and I will tempt the, um, I'll tempt the ceremony to cleanse the altar that my father had left desecrated. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that for you. I forgot. We need to to collect the wagons. Oh, Zeradius comes back. Zeradius! comes back with wagons. Huh? I come back with wagons? Yay! Wagon wheels. Yay! Um... I <coughs> guess I'll... approach... Uh, Nilax. Hey, Zeradius. Where are you being? Um... So Zeradius is running and he's out of breath with these wagons. Uh, I've been busy. Come in, there's um, been a murder in town. There was a nice knife found in a body. Yeah, more of that stuff, huh? I remember uh, these guys telling me about that earlier. In some other towns, we forgot to do stuff about that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm fairly sure people are after me regarding it. Don't know why? I could really use some help. What do you mean, some people are after you? Well, I'm presuming whoever murdered the body, don't know much about them, um, is trying to kill me, because I know you. I don't know why. How did you put those two things together, hmm? Oh, uh, shit. yeah, right, right, sorry. Well, generally when someone comes after you, well, generally when you find a body with a knife in it, and then someone comes after you with a knife. It's knife. You generally yeah, assume you... they're the person who killed the body. Well, I don't know that for sure. So let's head back the danger then. Luke. You know what? It's a wrong play. Huh? It's been a while since I've wrong play. Yeah, <laughs> I need to go pick up that dwarf. Let's just do it again. Murders. Could probably find some tips. Did you see them? Not person? clearly. But you saw them. Were they tall? Average height? I have a description. Speed humanoid? Average height. They were wearing a cloak. I couldn't make out any features. Hmm. Did you notice their skin color? Was it paler than not that it should be? It was a very, very long. Um, the arms are pale. Yeah. All right. I I heard a rumor that uh, a murder in Dugan's Hall it was a mystery tall individual spotted near the scene of the crime. They seem masculine, pale, grumpy, similar to that of uh, Aris and Lucia. Sorry. <laughs> Just gone through so, my bag. Maybe. If they weren't tall, they were just average, then maybe, uh, maybe there's more than one individual. Maybe. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Sorry. Just gone through my bag. You got some strange things in your bag there, Kragar. Don't, don't worry about uh, it. Let's head back to town. We can tell the speaker about what we've done here. Maybe collect some coin for it. Maybe collect some coin for that skating competition, and um, buy some stuff in the shops, and then we can figure out. Check out, out the raffle there. as well. Yes. Of course, I forgot about the raffle. How'd you know about the raffle? Oh, I mentioned it earlier on our journeys. Yes, you did. You said yes. you were mewling over that many, many times. Yes, that's right. Well, now that Gask has left us, I uh, guess you can have his share. Did Yaska actually buy tickets? I think we bought tickets as a group. As a group, yeah. That, that'll recognize your... Even your, like, newly formed group is mainly... Like... Yeah. <laughs> Who could forget well, the most I, colorful I actually, member? I actually did the the payment anyway. With the plat... With the, um, Electrum. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> yeah. 
So I guess they don't really care who's with me. Right. Yeah. Um, Steve is gonna go off and do a uh, ritual with the person, and Alex's character is gonna help them in case something happens. They'll catch up. Uh, so Let's go! Let's go! You guys make it into town. Uh, yeah. We'll just go back to... We're well, just going to go back to the splash. Yes, that's a goal. Let's go! Mario! Yeah, actually, you're just getting KFC. Taz. I'm at n n um, nuggets. Mm. Nuggets. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nuggets. Dude, I, I'm trying to, trying so to live like carefully. What used to drive Grace insane was when we would order food, right? She'd want to eat, and I'd take like an hour trying to decide what I want to eat. <laughs> you're one of those. You've literally oh. just been looking at nuggets for an hour. Yeah. No, no, I, I end up I end up deciding to get the first thing that I was looking at in the end, up to the end of the hour. But I just like look through the menu like a hundred times. <laughs> Shop's gonna close at this rate. Oh, I just sent, I just ordered it because I had a feeling. So um, <laughs> down this way <laughs> is the um the spine of the wall. Oh, oh yes. And right. this is I the caravan. The wall up top right. Nope. What? Wait. Oh, it's Kelvin's can. Yeah, Kelvin's can's the big mountain. Yes. That's what the dwarf wanted to go to. So it's completely different. Yeah, completely opposite yeah, directions. Yeah, well. Oh, right. Different, <laughs> different places. Yeah, I thought it was out past Kelvin's can. Yeah, no, he wanted Kelvin's can. Yeah. You guys got to go the opposite direction for that quest. Never mind. I'm going to get the door. Should we just let the sister die? Is there really that much we could do about it? I mean, we're literally blessed by God to do this. You don't know oh, that. We're blessed by God to have to, to save their growth. Well, yeah, but well, still, it's, it's a sour text. Oh, the god showed us the locate the rough location because that's what the other girl wanted, right? That's yeah. What it's what Vanessa wanted, you. Yeah. Yes. So it was more what Vanessa wanted than what the god wanted, yes. Huh? You're really going to leave that poor girl. No, I'm saying all this out of character because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I'm trying to this. So, Let's oh, the conversation because I don't order, think there'll be any be question that we can help. In order, where do we want to go to first? Rattle, because it's a timed thing. Yep. So you arrive at and the then... shop. Mm -hmm. um, it's in the, uh, the adventurous district us, near a major password. Money, yeah. Um... Wait, well, what shop is this soda? It's called uh, Rensen's Vault. It's run by Almatas and Rensen. Oh, the magic shop. The magic shop. Oh, maybe we should get our payment first then. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was the skating shop. No, skating shop is just skates. Yeah, they they they, they, they sports it in. Our team. <laughs> yeah. That's my team. Yeah, no, maybe we should get our payment first. I thought it was a different shop. Uh, okay. So, and yes, we should we're get our payment. Going to. First. We're going to the. Um. What's the name of that part of the town? I have to go to my GMs. Does anybody know what I'm thinking of? Where we're going? What's the name of that place? That little palace? The speaker's, speaker's Palace. palace. Alright, because we're in British Shinder. Yeah. 
So we're Best going place to, get rid of to the Speaker's Palace. Um, you're um, you're let through by the guards. They um, they recognise you as um, as the people who have been like speaking to the pe speaker before. Mm -hmm. Um. As you come in, you are um, you are stopped by the secretary. This um, uh, I keep forgetting the name of the like that role. The speaker. Mm, it's kind of like a royal kind of like person. Who is like the secretary? It's a bit like the jester. No. <laughs> um, steward. Uh, yeah, no. it's kind of like um, a steward. It's another word I was thinking of, but yeah, the steward comes up and mentions, Herald? um, you, you can't come in today. The, the meetings of the, um the council of the ten towns are on and it's being hosted by jeez what was that name fro, fro, fro. oh my god we're going up to Galuvia I have no flicking idea. Might have been general too. <laughs> yeah, the speaker's name, which you all know, and I know, in character. Duvessa Shane. Yeah, Duvessa. Yeah, I've got it written in my notes. Um, Lady Duvessa's not... Lady Shane's not going to be seeing anybody today. Uh, due to the meeting, um, only emergencies are allowed to break up this meeting. Right. Well, I suppose I'll be just come wait until tomorrow then. Are you um? Uh, are you here for a certain reason? Maybe I can help. Uh, yes. Uh, so the ice skating competition that we were in uh, got cut short because of the attack of the zombie polar bears and fish and things. Um, we investigated it, found out who it was, and they've been stopped. But it turns out there was probably another necromancer that escaped. Hmm. Well, if you're looking for a reward in monetary payment, we have to uh, cut the reward a bit short due to the... Uh, the losses and the grief that we have been experienced in the city and we are paying back a debt to the people lost? who was lost? what happened? the damage to the arenas that draw in such a big crowd and I people guess. wanting their money back for the event I see uh, it's a hundred pieces to each of you now oh that's a hefty reduction is there any better that you could do at all we didn't just win the competition we also the, found the murderer give her um give me a persuasion here we go guys we've got expertise it's in the this first one. dice roll today whoa um God damn, I rolled balls on the dice. <laughs> nice. Roll a, um... The persuasion was going to roll, like, how much of the next dice you're going to roll. So you met the DC for 12. I just made this up. Bowling. Well, you have a plus can I Can I assist by recalling the events through illusion? Just showing what happened at the manor. Uh, yeah, sure. And there was no, like, yeah, small-scale force, like, especially with, with the big skeleton. Yeah, give, give advantage, um, 
to a little bit. <laughs> nice. So an eighteen. Um. Yeah. Roll two d six instead of d twelve. Yep. So it's five times hundred twenty-five GP. Oh my gosh. Um, but that's not to everyone. It's like as a group reward. Right. Um. And between you and me, so this is a reward that I I think the city owes you a, a great debt for. And she pulls out a, um. Pulls out a trinket, and. Um, let me just roll on the magic item table because I didn't think this Um, yeah, it's the, um, this trinket is like a, um, a globe, like a snow globe, mm -hmm. um, and it, she, um, she hands you it, it's the drift globe. Drift globe? Yes, it's a wondrous uncommon magic item. This little, um, this little globe, she mentions, uh, if you speak its command word, causes it to emanate light or the daylight spell. Um, Krager would be affected by the daylight spell. Not anymore. Well, you're still, uh, right. you're still a vampire right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have to do the communion. You have to, um... You have to be contacted by the... The guy in... In roleplay and stuff. I'll be right back. Which will happen soon. Um... Uh... And you can... Kind of make it rise into the air and float. Off the ground. Um, she she gives you the drift globe and she says, "Let may it light the um, even the darkest ice wind nights." And she um thanks you and that has to usher you out of the building. Um, she mentions that the gold reward is collected by the proctors. Um, and she tells you where that kind of is, and it's on the way to the next location. So where are we going next? Uh, now that we have money, we're going to the magic shop, I believe. Okay. On the way to the magic shop, you collect gold reward. Yeah, it's in sacks and stuff like that. Right. How much total was it? Um. It was, uh, what, 625 from the initial persuasion? Oh, no, 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 the 125 was, um, was a, a, a total reward for oh, okay. everyone, yeah, like, it's like a, everyone gets this extra 625, and it's 100 gold per participant of that brawl, so it was you, right. Diva, and, um, Idril, Idril. so 300 gold? But only for the three of you. Right. So it's what, 100? And then there's 625 divided by what? Six. Who, who are we splitting? Six? Alright. Well, yeah, if we're giving some to Teddy. Yeah. Well, it doesn't split up just right, to be honest. Someone needs a bigger share. By like what? Like three gold or whatever? Uh, <laughs> well, Diva and Teddy and Zeradius were all gone for certain parts of it. 
Yeah. Yeah, just move them amongst the people that are here. And if, um, <laughs> set aside some money for them out of your guys, like, wealth that you've been given and just kind of, like, give it to them when the, they need it. Alright. I'm gonna try this Cajun sauce. <laughs> just be 100 gold additional each, and then another 25 to, I don't know, Nilex. Yeah, Because no, he has no Rani. Oh, alright. Yeah. And, uh, so... It's no Rani's share of 25. Yeah. Well, he did a lot of damage. You <laughs> come back into the magic shop, you're greeted by this warmth and the smell of, um, baked foods. It's kind of, like, really reminiscent of, like, um, being in a nicer kind of environment, not in the freezing cold. Um, yeah, they recognize you straight away, and you can see that there's a lot of people here all holding up raffle tickets and stuff like that. Just quickly, how much money total was it each again? Because I was... 200. Here. Okay. And you got an extra 25. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How many, um, how many did we get, like, for the tickets? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't know! Let's say um, there's, like... Let me look through my items. Raffle tickets, 30. We got 30. I've written it down. Yep. Someone else that isn't has, roll me... Huh? Roll me a d4, someone that isn't has. D4? Yeah. Easy. Four. <laughs> and they um, they call out the first number of the three-digit number on the ticket, and it aligns with yours. Mm -hmm. Um, and you hear this crowd just all cheering. A few, a lot of like, like sad sighs that like you know, like nine other numbers have been cut off like the list already. Um. Someone else roll a d6. Okay. So, is the fact that we have 30 tickets making it easier? Yeah. Sexy. Oof. Um, I'm never rolling anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, this is bullshit. The second number, you, you look through the 30 tickets. Digital gambling. And, um... Like, another number matches in one of the tickets. And then, um, the last number is called, someone do a D8 that isn't Krago or Ole. Good drill. It's up to you. Not for it, not for you. Nice. Um, you hear that one of your tickets out of the 30 is a winner and you're you're like up for a reward they're doing it for like multiple like prize packs or whatever it's not just the one mm -hmm. um uh can i get a d12 from someone yeah i'll do just anyone doesn't matter this one Go to fire. Yeah, so they actually um It's the most cracked thing we could have gotten. There, there's there's this um there's like each of the items are wrapped up in like this like gift wrap kind of thing. And you see that the item that you found was a sword gift wrapped and it's got the number five next to it. And you recognize you recognize this sword. It's the one that actually makes opponents that are slain by it disappear completely. Oh my god. Um, yeah, you what should... type of sword was it? It's a long sword. Right, long you can sword, change it to a sword. short sword if you really want to. Or a rapier. Um, is that all it does? It is a plus one long sword. Hmm. Um, Someone. 
the second raffle is going to come out, and this one here is a lot better of a prize. Um, so I need the same thing. We'll start with a D4. Alright, I guess I'll go again. Where's the D4? I heard a, I heard a thing, but I don't see it. It's a th three. <laughs> okay, it matches your number. Um, I'll get a D... Nice. Are you also six. rolling it? Yeah. No. No, no, I'm not. I'm just thinking of it in my head. Um, so I can change it whenever I want. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, D6. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, Hello. Yes. It's your turn. We're rolling again rolling for a better again. prize. Another D6. Yeah, yeah yes. this is the, um, the second last kind of thing, but it's the better, like the, the best prize. Oh, that's better. Better. It is a lot better. Unless you know it doesn't matter what. The it probably doesn't matter. Okay. I'm trying to recall what I said in my own head. Um, oh my um, god. It. It like, like it, it doesn't match any of the numbers that you guys have. And you see that the reward was this like amulet that just like is just worth so much money when you first saw it. And it's just um, oh. it's just gone. Oh. You see that it's, um It's okay, we got twenty eight more tickets. The, th the third um the third kind of thing goes through <laughs> and the number's not the same, so you guys don't have right. that one. <laughs> We're not gonna do this. The, the last <laughs> Digital one. gambling. The last one. It's like roll half, you know. Like yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Why don't we just, gotcha. just roll like twenty D four, twenty eight D six, twenty D. No, no, no. Doesn't work that way, bro. I'm just. I'm making this yes. simple. Um, we'll start with. Because he needs to bring up raffles as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, start with the Krager D four, or whoever wants to do the D four. Right. It's not Krager. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes. So no, this is your number. Like match no, this is just a team. And then just have someone just roll every, roll the same thing, you know? No, it has to be random every time a different person. Um, does it make it random? No, no, because then be if it's one person, that's like one person's luck only. We have to get everyone's luck involved. No, like one person rolls a D eight, D six, D eight. Yeah. What? That's like not. Nah, let's not worry about it. Sorry. Yeah, let's make it more confusing. Let's go. Who's gonna do the D yeah, six? Confusing. Sorry, no. I'm doing D sixes. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, we got it, guys. Hey. Second that, that, number that... matches. You find that you're really close. It's in that same. Oh no. Because you know the batches of um numbers are usually like. You get read out like you know, like you're you're gonna be in that like, that like, mm -hmm. general section of numbers, and so you're looking for mm -hmm. this last number. All right, let's do a D eight. I'm looking for. But you can tell us the number yeah. before, but. <laughs> oh. You you look, and it's a different number. It's not the one that you guys are looking for. They read out like. 127. And you have 126, 128, but you don't have 127. Yeah. <clears throat> and this one here was like a, um, some sort of like, um, some sort of, um, Dude. Don't taunt us. Some sort of uh, vial. Some sort of. They called it a um, phylactery. Oh, but... I don't want it anyway. Phylactery. Yeah, they called it a phylactery. It was a what? vial. It was a vial object. I don't want it. It was a phylactery. At the end, you take your um, you take your, like people start like you know, wrapping up and the shop starts coming back into like. Um, guards are just like surrounding people and making sure that people aren't fucking stealing during this time. Um, but as the shop starts clearing up, the party stays and a few of the other winners stay. 
um, they, they start collecting their rewards and your reward is there on the table and one of the proctors there um, is waiting for you for your um, ticket stub to actually like match it up and give you your long sword rapier short sword whatever you want to be does it all need a long sword if you don't want it to be Nanny. a sword it can be long sword. something else it could be could they just can't be upgrade a my mallet? It can't be a bow. It could be... What about a polar? <laughs> <laughs> do, you really, do you really want people to just disappear? So you have this like cursed item that like literally doesn't let you revive dead bodies because there's no bodies. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, there's there's no body. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I don't need it to be on this because I already have my packed weapon. Yeah, so. Whomst ever wants can... their weapon to be upgraded to a plus one, we can go into that. Uh, who 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 else is? It's only me and Nalang who's made basically main melee. Yeah, well that yeah. that changes it. So you could possibly have a um, plus one rapier. Actually, I have range now. Panda, did you want a plus one rapier? Yeah. Bam! No. No. I... Your doctor's scan, if it does the final oh, part, yeah, um, will yeah. make the enemy disappear. <laughs> yeah, it's a, rip, rip, it's a leg. Rip. You take. You right take here. It. Okay. Yeah. It's a plus one rapier then. Because I've got my um cavalry hammer. I mean, it's obviously not a magical weapon, but it's better than a regular one, so you can have it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. So you um you unravel this basket hilt rapier. You um, it's it's like um. We're gonna be we're gonna be stealing from some enemies here. As soon as you touch it, it's a coloured rapier that like as soon as you touch it, it um instantly starts like forging up it with a colour. What what colour do you want it to be? Yeah. Anime sword. Uh purple. Yeah, the um the hilt from the blade kind of like turns from this silvery grey to like a uh, dark purple and then up the blade slowly starts like melding to a color and you just see a purple blade um what do you think that purple means when it's a color sword changing to purple panda ah uh, like like the meaning of the color or yeah, the meaning what, what of the like, meaning let's say like every single color has its own meaning what kind of meaning do you take from your it's a lightsaber your sword turning purple whether like someone else's sword might turn red or whatever i want a damn purple, purple sword so i got a damn purple I don't sword know. What, what is the meaning of purple in the no, no, like it, it it literally is just like you have to put your own meaning into this um why, it do, why is... do you think? What's like a? What do you think? What's like a kind of like a cut off, a character kind of trait that this sword will be taking on? What's that like? What's the idea? Yeah. Um, her thirst for knowledge. I don't know. Yeah, with that, like it just kind of like finishes the blade, completing it to a complete purple blade. Um, and it, it just like, um, you like swish it around, you feel that it's like lighter, um, you, you kind of test your other blade against it, and your other blade just starts to like, blunt a little bit by hitting it. <laughs> uh, Interesting. And you're like, very Good much point. feeling like this weapon has, um, just kind of like conformed to you. Uh welcome. The, the um the shopkeepers tell you that the person who was wielding it last was uh, not a good person. We had to hunt them down and when we killed them yeah. They um they opted to so when we when we finally got them to um to to almost dying they opted to slash themselves and disappeared. 
So, I'm not saying this item is cursed, but you have to be wary of what history this kind of relic can have. Uh, I will take it to, into account. Yep. You can give it a name. It doesn't really have one. We can call it something like the Disappeary Blade. <clears throat> Whatever. Um, uh, I don't name my words. Says so the person that has like don't play. <laughs> At the same time, Ross. At the same time, the other brand eyes, grim dark. The other, grim luck. the other guy. Um, this is short. Name is short. The other guy is like. Name is Axe. The other guy kind of like um. Picks up his like medallion necklace, um, and you see him just like disappear for a second, then reappear. And it's like, what? And he's talking about, oh my god, I can't believe I have that now. And he thanks them and just like, runs off. <laughs> he just... He can turn invisible! <laughs> Alright. Um, and yeah. Oh, you can... The other guy is like, he's already like, accepted his reward and just dipped. Dip, dip, potato chipped. Um... Right. Is there another place that we'll be going this session? No, I want to look around the shop. Okay. So yeah, the magic yeah, shop. The shop has changed its ways, so we will re-roll a it new happened. shop. I don't know why I wasn't doing that while. That's nice. Excellent, excellent. 5e.magic. 5e.magic.shop. Man, this looks like it's mad. Do you guys identify oh, stuff? Do you think this mask is magical? Oh, yeah, I've got this uh, floating orb now. I don't know what it's called. Drift now, Alex, do you want me to look at it? Won't we talk with us? Yeah, but you don't know. Do you, do they know the command word? Sorry, do they, do, did yeah, you come yeah, up yeah. with the good the when, two command word? When you um, when you get a magic item from my game, you kind of for daylight and night you generate okay. the command word. Hello. Hello? 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 Okay. My voice chat was... What's going on? Hello? Hello? My headset keeps cutting out. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... <sighs> the, um, the shop has three new items and, and the rest of the like old wares have been like sold. Um, mm -hmm. It has a sign that says winged boots mm -hmm. as one of the items. Another one is a sign uh, the winged boots says 8,000 gold. Oops. Oof, oof, oof. And the second item. Uh, I'll put it in chat. Yeah. Thanks. Is an obsidian steed statue. Um, and oh. this statue. It, it's a sign that says it's an obsidian steed statue. Does anybody want to do like a check? Sure, I'll do a check. Yeah, and just kind of. See if you can. Arcana, I'm guessing. You can do Arcana history. You can do athletics. Do 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 whatever you want, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Flex of what you get. Medicine investigation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a flex check. <laughs> on athletics, you you recall while lifting weights. <laughs> you recall while lifting weights. <laughs> like in your head, you're just like, damn. A, a magical horse made of obsidian would be fucking sick. <laughs> oh, 
And, I uh, could lift that as my weight. Yeah, and Panda, yeah, you recognize that this magical item has been sought after for a long time by a lot of people. Um, the shop values at, at 96,000 gold pieces. Oh. Wait, not 9,600, 96,000. 96,000. <laughs> Holy shit. Right. Like buying a house, bro. It's, Damn. A, it's an unbreakable oh. item, the guy explains. Um, mm. They've thrown it in Houses lava. here would probably be cheaper. They've thrown oh, yeah. it in cheaper. lava and like nothing. How'd you get it out of the lava? Um, it floats up. Does it? <clears throat> Wrong accent. And um, the last one is a chainmail plus one. Man. And the chainmail plus one is 2,500 gold. No, Alex, is southern. I think I can afford any of it. I still believe we can't afford such a thing. <laughs> Not now, wildest dreams. Bye. Perhaps if we pulled all our resources together, we might be able to get one of those pieces. I think there's another piece left. There's other smaller there things. Like, um, there three things. There's a vicious hand crossbow that you recall from the last time you've been in there. The vicious hand crossbow is 500 gold. What does the vicious do again? Um, when you roll on a crit with this magic item, the target will take an additional 7 damage. Uh, it's a 2d6. Oh, no, that's incorrect, For apparently. What? A vicious weapon. When you roll a 20 on your attack roll with this magical weapon, the target takes an extra 7 of the weapon's type. A vicious antimatter rifle. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Yes, that's for sale. Yes. <laughs> yes. But it's not plus one, so... No. I don't really see a reason to... Um, Soda, didn't you say there was three new items? Yeah, I, I explained all three of them. Oh, I only heard two of them. I heard the obsidian uh, horse, and I heard the other thing. The chainmail is the only thing we could afford if we put, in, put together resources. Chainmail, horse, winged boots. Yep, yeah, the winged boots are still out of our price range. What's the chainmail? The chainmail was only um, two thousand. We'll just set it at two thousand zero. Oh, never mind. But what is it? Hey, um, plus chainmail plus one. one. Oh, plus one armor piece. I mean, I could pay up half of that, but <laughs> it's chainmail. Chainmail, oh, but I wore it. I it's heavy, the right? Same armor as I yeah, have it's right worthless. now. It's worthless. Chainmail's medium. Chainmail's, <laughs> Chainmail's not even the best. Chainmail is me. I've been talking and, and I'm muted. I was muted. Oh, I'm an idiot. I've got yeah. splint armor. I would have exactly the same armor with a plus one chainmail because because I have a negative to dex. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but if it, it's like a strength requirement. Thing. Yeah. Mm. I don't think Chainmail has strength requirement, does it? So where I it think does it. otherwise, you get... So 13. Well, um, it's only as good as Splint, and Splint is 200 oh, it does. gold. Holy shit. I'll do, um, I'll so do a roll on a weak magic item table, and I'll give it a magic item weak buff. I'll give it two buffs. I mean, first plate is cheaper, and you could get the same result. I remember. Weak property, weak damage property. without disadvantage as well. Breastplate, breastplate. Do you have a negative Ooh. to your dexterity? All oh, right, you do because you have negative to your in um, uh, they call initiative. it the oh, yeah. they call it the lunar scale mail, and mm -hmm. it um they say that it, <laughs> the lunar scale mail can cast um a charge of moonbeam <laughs> once uh -huh. a day. Second level spell. Is that the chainmail? Yeah. Skeleton. I don't suppose a skeleton could cast that, could they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it doesn't need to be cast by a caster. Oh. 
And Moonbeam is concentration spell, so the item holds the concentration. Oh, right. And yeah, like Moonbeam. Moonbeam is actually pretty good. Breaks, How much like, is that? It like makes it so transformed it creatures have to come back. Yeah. It breaks so transformations. Yeah. How much is the lunar? 2k. 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 Now, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, does anyone have another K? I do. I have 1200. I've got uh, a K. You've got 1200. Wait, let me I just took a moonbeam. I don't. still don't think it's worth it. Uh, what is happening? Yeah, I was gonna give it two little buffs, but I think moonbeam on the side. 2d10. Let me just check my gold. And up. you can move it around, right, moonbeam? Yeah, moonbeam yeah, has like a concentration, you move it around. It's got a lot of like beneficial stuff that isn't part of that, just damage. Yeah, it has. It, redu it um, basically gets rid of transformations. Can I try and negotiate them down to. Wait, what's the actual armor? It's chainmail, isn't it? Plus one. Chainmail. Scale mail. Was oh, it scale mail now or is it chainmail? Yeah. Hey, wait. No, no, scale mail, which is a 14 plus dex max 2 with disadvantage. No, no, it's chainmail. Yeah, it says here chainmail. Oh, chainmail, okay. Yeah, chainmail, which is the heavy armor 16 plus 1. Which is no. the same as identical to my splint. Yeah, yeah. But like, let's but, say someone who didn't have the strength requirement to wear your splint could wear this chainmail. Like a skeleton. Yeah, yeah maybe a skeleton. <laughs> 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 what? I'm not giving you money to put it on a skeleton. I, I not, I'm not. The guy, I don't want it on a skeleton. Okay. You're just yeah, yeah well. I'm saying it's possibility because it's th then you don't have to use your action economy to to do that. Does, does anyone else wear heavy armor? Do you have proficiency? No, I don't have. I have proficiency not in heavy armor. Every other armor, yes, but not heavy. I'm wearing light. What if I'm wearing? Would you guys want it to no be armor. that it by uh, additional features that it like is like it kind of conforms to your shape and you're proficient with it? That isn't solid? that you are automatically proficient with this armor. But oh. isn't that still like? Isn't that all magic items? No. Except, oh, no, no. no. Not, not the armor. conforming is, but like yeah. the proficiency yeah. isn't. Yeah. I mean, then I could I could technically wear it and it'd be better. Yeah, but yeah. your dex bonus doesn't affect it. It would just be a better. Yeah. He's just like, six, no, I'd, I'd go up to 16 from 15. He's made 17, actually. Soda. Can I try and negotiate with them? to move that enchantment over to my splint armor for 1200 and then that way they can re-enchant and sell the chainmail. It chain mail. doesn't work like that. These items are found by these guys. The, these guys aren't powerful enough mages to like move things around. They don't, they don't have that knowledge here, so... Shit. Bloody losers. I can't do anything, don't ask me. It's true. Can you change it? Up? No, just... <laughs> Are you a magic, I don't think I can. Magic item uh, next to you. Again, do it. Don't ask me. I'd, they... I'd, rather, I'd rather save for something else. Yeah, do they have any other items that are not as cool as those mm. three? Yeah, I listed it from before. Let me open it up again. They have your... That one, that one long sword. They have... Ring of Fire oh, Resistance, 1,100. Oh. Rope of Climbing, 1,200. These prices are really hot. Yeah. Did you up the prices, Soda? No, yeah, like, yes, I did, but... Yeah. More guys. It's always been high, though. There's... <laughs> There's not that much gold in the entire city, I'd wager. No, there's heaps of money in the city. The rich are like sitting on like, you know. Like in circulation money. among like the working people though. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, no, you I'm misunderestimate a... how like how much trade happens in this city still. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, um, you know, like hundreds of K 
kind of yeah. uh, is traded per hour in this city still. Well, we don't have access to that, so yeah, I'm done here. I still want to hear the smaller items. Yeah, um, what's the smaller item? Vicious hand crossbow. Let's see. Yeah. There's the so potion of extra healing, which may, doubles your healing for an hour, and it's um, 2d6 healing, and it's 800 gold. See, it's really good, but it's a one-time use, so I'll pass on mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Um, no, other than that, then something else. The, the, shop yeah. is, the shop doesn't, like, you know... Get much like. Is it that cursed sword. long sword, sorry, Da? That's gone. That's been sold. It's the... there was another long sword. There was another cursed yeah. long sword. It's gone. This shop isn't for adventurers. It's for the rich people to play at adventuring. <laughs> yes, very, very good. Is it, so that cursed long sword is not available anymore. No, it's not. Okay. Mm. So. Uh... Is there a shop nearby with the more affordable magical items? Uh, I could refer you to the banana shop magic, uh, magic item shop next to the banana inn. They um, yeah. they share their stock with the rest of the, um, kind of franchise. All right, thank you very much. Unfortunately, we're not as uh, successful as we'd like to be. Otherwise, we'd love to buy some of your things like that mighty five city and steed there. But uh, 96k is just a smidge out of our price. Get 10, 10 gold a week. Yeah, we go. Oh, it's not even a week yet, is technically. Yeah. Wow. A gold piece is enough for a man to live for a month. Wealthy compared to like the, the commoners. Let's go with the bananas. I mean, it's common for like a like aristocrat room at an inn to it, be like. Is it possible to get high quality equipment that has some like properties at least? Like my cavalry hammer, how it's non magical but it has cool effects. Yeah, or like any additional effect. Uh, she, um, weapons. You know, like this, I'm not a, I'm not a like a, a blacksmith or anything like that. You might have to speak to the blacksmith. Um, I can recommend you uh, the black black iron blades. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure. They were very grateful after you returned their gold, uh, sorry, their iron ingots. They may be able to help you out with something like that. That's true. And you guys They're recall that you were given a discount? They? No, it's this yeah. time. Huh. We might as well check it out. Yep. Uh, I reckon checking out the banana magic shop is worth a, tr worth a look as well. Isn't that like in a completely different city though? No. It's in every city. It's a franchise. Oh, it's a franchise? Oh, yeah. Let's check out the one at Banana Magic Shop. <laughs> banana. <laughs> the Banana Magic Shop. As you come in, you notice it's the lady that you've met before. Is that you guys? Oh, yeah. Beauty. Really potion Bro, look who's here. Gang, gang. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, it was not southern because yeah it's sasha lady i don't remember what i named her but this sasha lady uh, is gonna um, her name sasha no her name is uh pasha pasha hi pasha <laughs> have you guys started watching um critical role all right yes for <laughs> alexandra yeah. uh limited yeah oh pasha is one of the characters names is it not not one of the like main characters like in the first episode. Was it the was it Oscar? The thief. No, the was thief it? That, like... Wasn't it the thief? The, the one that did graffiti. Oscar. I watched it last night. It's Oscar. Was it the graffiti? Not Oscar. Pasha. Nah. Yeah, whatever that name is. Yeah. Okay. Pasha. Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, Oscar. Oscar. That's her name. Um, and she asks, 
Yeah, what, what is it that I can help you buy? Could we have a catalog or? Uh, uh, there is many items. Uh, you see that there's like items listed all over the place. Yeah, um, name an item, a magic item that you want to buy, and I'll see if it's here. And then I'll give you okay. a general price, I guess. Are you able to enchant armors and things? Um, not at this shop. The service is available at some of our places with the magical um the the magical workers there that would be blacksmiths and artificers and inventors. Not here. Uh, where about to that be? Because I'm quite partial to my hammer here. Uh. You might have to go to the city of Baldur's Gate, or oh shit, uh, it's pretty far. Maybe, maybe somewhere in the Sword Coast. A few of our shops there have some of the um, Waterdeep would also have some of the um, finer craftsmen. Thank you. Yeah, name a magic item and I'll see if it's here. I'm pretty sure you guys named some, like, generic stuff, and I said no, but it might be there now if you really want it. Uh, let me have a look, please. On the 5 year tools for <laughs> magical items. Or if you want, I can generate another shop. And I'll just start listing things while you do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. Sounds good. Scribe's pen. Is that the one that you wanted last time? Uh, no, it was. I think it was the, the, the eye of minute seeing. I think that's the one I wanted last time. Doesn't Nilex have that? No, what? that's the eyes of the eagle. Yeah. Oh. Scribe's pen, invisible writing. Um. Oh, crap. Let me just open up the sane magical item prices, because this, this shop will be sane. Yeah, um, actually, if you want, have a look at the same magical item prices on this here uh, PDF. There, so done. And it'll kind of like, I'm going to put it in general too, because that's for whatever reason what I'm on. In um, this mode. There it is. Same magical item prices. What is this? Yep, and as well, like, any of the stuff that you have, like, they'll buy the Drift Globe for 750 gold. Um, any of the armors or magic items that you guys have, they'll sell for Would whatever. they buy Chardelaine? Uh, <laughs> no, it has to be, like, created into something, they say. Nobody buys Chardelaine. <laughs> oh, I've got amulets of Chardelaine, though. Those are magical items, right? Mm hmm Listed alphabetically, and what was the one that you're looking for? Scribe's pen. Spell scroll. Oh god. Do you have a night caller? A night caller. I don't yes. see the scribe's pen. Um, she says the scribe's pen is worth 350 gold. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Um, but yeah. Yes. Night was it? And I Night caller. 
caller. Night as as night time. Yeah. And caller as on the telephone. Let's see. Oh yes, it's very clear. Uh, do not see it. Night caller. Is that um? <laughs> is it in the DMG or is it custom? It is Tales of the Yawning Portal. Oh. Tales from the Yawning Portal. Where's that? And it's collar as in like a dog collar? Collar. Collar, yeah. Call. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's a whistle. Call. Call. Whistle. Animate dead yeah, spells. You asked about this, I think, before once. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I was looking at it right. It might be under summoning items? No, 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 Listed alphabetically, maybe it's just because the awning portal is like not like mainline game, it's like just a its own little one shot kind of thing. Probably. What's its tier and rarity? It's an uncommon wondrous item. Um, mm -hmm. Whilst in darkness, hmm. And you want it to, like, save the spell slot? No, it lets me cast the spell. Right. But you already cast on me, did, but, don't you? To keep stuff, like... I, I can only... Uh, you, okay, so this lets me assert two more skeletons. Oh. Because I can only assert four, right? Right. Uh, it's... So it's not it's not as good as the animate dead spell because I can't have as many skeletons. But it just gives me more. Yeah. Hmm. 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 I mean, this like, is like I wonder if you guys are w I'm... like a win lately, or whatever. But. Is there another Eyes of the Evil? But like, it seems pretty strong. Hmm. It's, as well, like, if you're looking at some of the, like, uncommons and stuff in this list that are pretty strong, like, they're, like, super expensive. Hmm. Alright, what about Quiver of Elana? Uh. Let me just put it into general. It's a DMG item. Quiver. Is this the one that has um little sockets and pouches and stuff? It's a quiver with uh three compartments. Yeah. Um that'll be six hundred gold. Hmm. About another, does, is there any more Eyes of the Eagle? Pun? I don't know, Eyes of the Eagle. How about a Helm of Comprehend Languages? Helm of Comprehend Languages. Yeah, I'm looking through the list. Bro, can right. you just double check and see that it's on this Google Drive so that I can, like. It know, is. I've, I'm, how, rich, how I'm literally it? looking at it. It's 500. Yeah. Helm of Comprehend Languages is there. Uncommon. It yeah, is an attunement item, so you'll have to attune to it. And yeah, I'll yeah, send yeah. magic devices PDF. Oh. Right. oh wait, is there more tattoos? That's the thing. They have oh. they have tattoos. Not in you said there was. Shop. Yeah. Yeah, it was a specific shop, right? The like, one that we were going remember. to, the like the other one, said that they could do it, but I didn't end up. Oh no. What is this? Where, was check tattoos something. published? They were, right? What? What? Tattoos were published in Tasha's or something, right? What? Magic item tattoos were published in Tasha's, right? Oh, yes, yes, in Tasha's. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so I could get a ivory goat. <laughs> yeah.
Could the Mariners no Mariners armor is chain again? Oh, that it's a cooldown of thirty days. <laughs> I, um, the ivory goat. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't have the one that you mentioned. But maybe we listed around these, like, kind of, uh... It'll probably be, like, around this, like, 2,000, 3,000 price. Probably 2,000? The one that gives you additional two guys? The Helm of Comprehend Language is the two men? Is it? Uh, it doesn't. I search it up. It's not. Is it? Well, then it's not then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they they mention that it's two k. Um, what else? Oh, it's a gem of brightness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it just? Oh god, the shopping. The shopping episode, man. <laughs> yes, we're back. We're back in the shopping episode, guys. It just slows the Ole. Are you are you looking for stuff too, Ole? Um, not you... really, because I mean, maybe a plus one Arcana or anything which gives me. Yeah, just look. You can ask us. Yeah, you need to fork out like yeah, yeah, thousand, thousand five hundred for that. that much money just yet. Uh, I've got one thousand two hundred. I have nearly 2k. Yeah, well, you guys now. Yeah, I can help. We, because we're now level 7, you know, like, I'm gonna start awarding a lot more money. Like, you guys have been, like, you know, the last quest was, like, almost a thousand to, like, individuals. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, well, that wasn't even the quest. The quest, I didn't pay anything. What do you mean? Oh, wait, hang on. Quest. I was talking, I thought you were talking about ice skating. Yeah, on the ice skating thing, like, you guys will be... You would have been given a lot of money if we actually went all the way through it. Is that a quest? No, but, like, you know, that's kind of like a sub... Like, yeah. that's a reward that's for doing it. things. So, yeah. money's going to start coming in now. Like, you know, things are going to start giving you a bit more money. Yeah, so I'm going to buy... I'll buy the helm of Comprehend Language. Your butt mouth is too close. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll... I'll... Is that better, Kuma? Yeah. Oh, it's still too close. Bro, oh, I'll just turn you down. Dude, the you know ion what? stones are only like 3,000 gold. What? No, it depends though. It depends, Soda. Some of the, like, the best ones as well are all here for 3,000. Bro, I could buy a fireball for 300 gold. <laughs> I can buy an ion stone of sustenance for 1,000. Or I can get a plus one weapon for 1,000. I'll, 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 I'll sell, I'll buy the Helm of Comprehend Languages, Soda. Yep. Can I like stylus so it looks... Yeah, uh, better. You can okay. change it to whatever you want, and yeah, I didn't know it wasn't a magic. Uh, I didn't know it wasn't a con uh, thing. Do yeah, that's actually decanter? pretty good. Do they have a decanter of endless water? Decanter of endless water. Yes. Let's check. I'll check for you. Yeah. It's probably too expensive. That's probably really expensive. Probably. Yeah, it's it's one hundred and thirty five k. Yeah. Before now. you could literally like. You could literally start a town with that. That's how good it is. Mm -hmm. You could start charging for water because you have this item that's just like creating infinite. Question: water. Is Nilex keeping the drip flow? I have it currently. Do we? Do we want it though? Uh, I. It's, it's pretty. It's, I mean, in my opinion, it's kind of a shit. Can you not see properly? I don't think anyone can not see. Yeah. Maybe Diva. Now Diva's got dark vision as well. But it, but it follows behind. Yeah, no, it's no. really. It, it stays it in one behind. place. It doesn't doesn't track. Oh, me. it's even worse. Yeah, it floats and just stays in one place. Uh, yeah, it floats and says it's not a two man. It floats, stays in one place. But it uh, casts daylight, which is a very powerful spell against. Yeah. Vampires. Vampires. Yeah, but I can soon cast daylight. Yeah. Yeah, but like a free daylight, man. Like you know. Free daylight's really strong. Mm, you know. You can always sell it later. I guess. Yeah. True. 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 
But yeah, you guys see Maybe. how like these items kind of are worth the prices that I'm listing. Like I'm not making up insane prices. It's just the game to do that to people. You know what I mean? Um, can I get adamantine splint armor, please? Uh, for five hundred. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. How would you? Would you do that? Oh, uh, you buy um, adamantine splint, splint armor. armor is worth a lot. So it, it just adds five hundred ish to that. So what's um, what's a splint armor worth? Seven fifty, I think. Yeah, you can't get. <laughs> can I get adamantine fucking plate mail? <laughs> no, I just meant like. Yeah. No, um, I mean like, could they like change mine? Like, do they have the adamantine here? Uh, no, no, you would have to buy another one. So the adamantine splint armor will probably be about 850? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe you trade in your old armor? I was going to say, can I trade in my old armor? Uh, I'll, they can I'll send take it 400 off of it. Fixed. So it'll be 450? Yeah. That's a lot, man. That's a, that's a lot of... That's a... No, I'll do that. 100%. I'll do that. Yeah, that's a lot. So I'll have 790 left. And what was the adamantine? What does it do again? The crit reduction? It's a normal. It just turns a crit into a normal hit. Yeah. 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 I'm tempted to get... I can't get any... Adam I can't get any, like, special armor because I don't wear any. I'm tempted to get a horn of blast and... Horner I especially want an adamantine splint armor because of how crits work in this game. I can kind of yeah. die if, <laughs> if true. I use it. True, dude, everyone should be getting adamantine armor. If you get crit, you're gonna... <laughs> um, Are you rolling, brother? Let's see if I'm going to die. I'm not what? dying! What? What do you mean? It's a roll of one to die. To two or less. Oh my what god. Is this, for? this is. I'm, I'm gonna get a horn of blasting. <laughs> yeah, how much is horn of blasting? 450. Yeah, what should do? do it. Is it like a circle of blasting that you blow the horns? Uh, uh. Yeah. But it has a chance to explode on me. And it deals 5d6 damage in an AoE. Well, it wouldn't kill you, it just hurt. <laughs> well, if it explodes on me, I take. Let's see, 10 D. What is it? 8 is it? No, it's 6. So oh, I almost. Oh I'm God. pretty close to dying. The best thing you can get, uh, for I think the best thing Ole can get if he wants is the Rod of the Pack Keeper. Rod of the Pack Keeper? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. It's like um a focus plus one for my game kind of thing where you'd get a plus one to your saves as well. So if you make them do a, a fireball save, you get a plus one to that. They have to instead of getting fifteen, they have to get sixteen. How, how much is broad of the pack keeper? One 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 point two k. Can I borrow? Some actually, money? afford that? Huh? Can I borrow money off someone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there is there uh, uh uh how many how much money do you need borrowed kuma 300 sure you can borrow from edros <laughs> wonderful yeah and i'll be broke um that's that's gonna be it for this session it's already 11 o'clock i'm tired as trucks <laughs> okay um Thank you. if code gets Thank on soon running. yeah just let him know um, that we did the role play and he got to get his choice that he wanted. He wanted the Fae buff, I think he said. So he gets it. Um, yeah, tell him about this shop. Tell him about this same magical item prices. Um, yeah, I guess. And Alex never showed. <laughs> yeah, he messaged me like saying like, oh, he had to cook and stuff. What a surprise. Okay. How much is an amulet of the devout? It says it. If it's not in this list, DM me. Oh, is that for you? I'll, I'll look Prices. at it if it's not in this list. Um, if you want to kind of uh, homebrew an item too, we could look at that. 
as well. It allows me to use my divine thing an extra like, is it co instead of just once a day. In yeah. I think it's comparable to the pack. Yes, it's a plus pack one pack. to my is spells it? and spell DCs, and it allows me to use my channel divinity twice instead of once. Is that in the list? If not, it's a lot. A day. Day. Just it's plus one, one of my attacks and one, two, it saves. And, and then I can yes, get a yes, spell yes, slot back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much the same thing. But it's better on the front of the pack because my warlock slots are even stronger. Whoa. Yeah, sure. Yeah. They're more versatile as well. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna stop recording.